I'm the driving chair, and this is a rapid roadside review of the 2020 Chevy Trax All Wheel Drive Premier. Underneath the hood, we have this. What is it? I have no idea. It looks like it's a 1.4 liter four cylinder front wheel drive configuration. All wheel drive would probably be whatever the Koreans can fit into this because this is built by General Motors Korea or Daewoo. Take your pick. And as you can tell, it's a very narrow car, but it is tall. It's got decent ground clearance with nothing hanging down, but I would not recommend this on the highway at any speed. The interior quality is not too bad. The door panels are a little iffy, but they still hold stuff like this and this. But look at that. Not good. Dash is solid. Steering wheel is fairly comfortable and bolstered. That's enough room for all of our crap, including the stuff on the floor. It's got a, like a one foot sunroof. It's okay. The seat material, I don't know what this is. It feels like somebody took butter on suede and went, yeah, we can turn that into a bolster. It's a push button start. And it right, it starts not too bad. Unfortunately, the rental company we got this from gave us both sets of keys. There's the one key, there's the other key. So if you lose one, you lose them both. Great idea, guys. It runs not too bad. The premier system gives you this really, really tiny touch screen. No navigation. What's up with that? The instrument cluster, very simple, very basic. However, in order to change the, this part, you gotta go to this little stock part right here where there's a menu button. The stereo you just heard was pretty good. Let's give it another shot. So you at least won't die of boredom as you're trying to keep this thing on the road in crosswinds. I'm almost six feet tall, so there's more than enough room to, you know, kink my head sideways and I'm doing pretty good. There's a pocket here. There's um, more of that wonderful butter feeling suede material. If I put my head all the way back. Yes, I have a lower neck support. So obviously you gotta adjust the headrest for that. There's plenty of room around here to smack whoever's right next to you. You don't really have to reach too far, so it really saves our muscles there. And you do have a 12 volt plug. No USB or anything else. 12 volt, brilliant idea. Comes with Continental tires. What size are they? Really? These are 18s? Sure fooled me. The tires themselves are fairly quiet as long as you keep the music turned up really loud. So you'd rather hear the boom, boom, boom as opposed to rah, rah, rah. And back here for storage, not too bad. First off, you gotta figure out how to open it. You wanna go up here? No, no. All you're gonna do is put fingerprints on your backup camera, which is a treat in itself to use. You push that, you think it opens? No! You gotta pull on it, and look at that! More than enough room for your over weekend crap! Laptop bag, I got this, jacket, stolen hotel food! You know, we're good to go! This was a trip to Rona. We're good! Now, do you remember me talking about that backup camera? Check this out. There's reverse. Pretty good. Except you have no directional lines. All you've got is this is where your car can go. Do I turn the wheel? What happens? Nothing. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that interesting? But how are you supposed to see that orange? Where's the green arrows? Really, Chef? Come on. What are the views? Oh, all that does is just take the light. So I really don't know where I'm going. I'm totally screwed. But I don't know where I'm going. Really? Like, what, what's this do? It does nothing. What's the home button give you? Nothing, because I'm in reverse. It does have one redeeming quality. This thing is cheap. For under 25 grand, you can probably get a well option one, base LS model, one of the LTs. Maybe you want to spend almost 30 grand for the Premier model. You get a decent stereo, comfortable seats of unknown materials and a decent barely above cheapish ride like if you're looking at a chevy spark definitely better than that by a little bit if you're looking at an equinox you wouldn't even look at this because you got money for one of those the blazer the trailblazer all the other ones that have this exact same front end 
but are much bigger and cost more money. If you plan on just living in town and you don't want to buy like a Yaris or a traditional hatchback, this would be the way to go. If not, run away fast from this. This was the Drive It Here and this was a rapid roadside review. Like, subscribe to my channel, leave comments in the section below. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down, leave constructive criticism, and I'll mull it over on the next time I get something to drive.